Hi everybody, this is Bernie J. Antiquando. Today I'm going to demonstrate this uh, landscape painting. But before we're going to start this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe my channel by hitting the subscribe button below this video. Hit the bell symbol to get notified for my upcoming new painting tutorial in the near future. And now guys, let's get started with this landscape painting tutorial. I know guys, let's get started here. Uh, before we're going to start this uh, tutorial, uh, I have here the colors, namely the white, black, this one is the viridian green, the rushina color, the orange or the cadmium orange, this one is the lemon yellow, you can use your medium yellow, then the scarlet red and blue or you can also use this or you can call this cobalt blue so I have here also the 10 inches by 12 inches uh, white canvas here so we're going to start now the first thing to do is we're going to create here the sky for this painting for my first uh, layer background here so I'm going to use my flat brush I have here the one and a half inch flat brush, so I'm going to I'm going to use this one and a half inch flat brush for my sky. So I'm going to paint directly here the blue color. This is only the first layer of my sky. I will paint here directly the blue color. Then after that, I'm going to mix this color, the blue and the white. Just mix these two, these two color to create the sky blue color. There you are. And just paint here. Or maybe we're going to paint here directly the white color. And just blend this color. There there you go very nice color very nice blending of color here just observe my brush strokes mix the color this scarlet red this scarlet red and white color just blend this color or just just combine this color the scarlet red and the white or the titanium white and I'm going to add also the orange or the cadmium orange there I'm going to paint here at the very lower portion this one here there you go there you go then the yellow color I'm going to paint also the yellow color here because I'm going to create here the uh, sunset I'm going to create here the I'm going to turn this sky into sunset there you go then after that the white color I'm going to paint directly the white color here just blend this white color there you go then the sky blue color I'm going to mix this blue and white there I'm going to mix this one here at the upper portion or just paint here the upper portion and just and then just blend this color to create this kind of color very nice there there you go then after that I'm going to mix again the scarlet red and the white color white and the red color and then add on I'm going to add also the orange color this small amount of orange there you go I'm going to paint this one here for my clouds here 
There you go. Very nice. Just observe my brush strokes here. There you go. And this one also here. Just small amount there. Going to the upper portion there. This is my sky. Already clouds here. There you are. Very nice sky. Then I'm going to add more white here. Just paint directly the white color here. There. So I'm going to lighten this area for my... This area is the nearer to uh, the sun. That's why I'm going to lighten this uh, more. There. Very nice. And this one also. For the uh, lighter clouds here. Or the white clouds. This area. There you are. I'm going to add more white here. There. There you go. That one. Very nice. The orange color here. I'm going to add more color here. The orange color. There. Just observe. The orange color here. There you are. There you go. There you are. It's my first layer of my sky. So I'm going to get my number at a flat brush. I'm going to add more detail with that. So I'm going to paint directly the yellow color also. Just selecting the area there for this yellow color for to create a very nice color of my sky here. There you go. Very nice. The yellow color here. Going to the upper portion. Just observe the brass strokes. There. Yellow color. Or some clouds here that reflected the uh, reflected the lights coming from the sun. So I'm going to add more yellow here at the upper portion there. There you go. Very nice. And also this one here. There you are. Good looking sky now. Very nice sky. There you go. Very nice sky. Then the white color also. I'm going to add more white color here. At this part here. Just observe. Where did I put my white? This is the lighter clouds. There you go. And also this one here. Very good looking now. Then this area is I'm going to lighten this area then to this area. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my I'm going to get my flat brush. Again I'm going to get this one, the one and a half inch flat brush. I'm going to paint here directly the white color. I'm going to lighten this a little bit. Here we go. Just lighten this here. There you go. To lighten this part, this this area here. 
There you go. I'm going to clean my brush. Then add more white here at the very lower portion. Just blend this white color. So that it will uh, uh, lighten this part. There you go. There you are. Very nice. We'll just mix this blue color. The blue and the red color. I'm going to mix these two color. There you go. And add a very small amount of black color. There you are. And also the white. There. I'm going to paint here. This is the mountain. Very far mountain. There you go there. I'm going to blend this dark color to the white that I paint earlier so that it will create this kind of faded effects to my mountain there. There you go. It's very good looking now. There you are. The faded effect of my mountain. There. There, very nice mountain now. There you go. A very good looking mountain. And this one here. Lighten, uh, I'm going to lighten this part, this mountain. I'm going to light this a little bit here, then to this part. There you are. Then the, uh, the red color and the blue. And just add a very small amount of black color. Just the red, the red, the black and the blue. There you go. I'm going to paint also here. There you are. Very nice. I'm going to paint also the... Uh, I'm going to mix the color of this. I'm going to add a very small amount of red color to the blue. Just small amount of red and add a very small amount of black also and I'm going to add a very small amount of white there are four colors that I combined I'm going to paint here oops I'm going to the blue color and a very small amount of black And a white Just paint here. Something blue color effect to this mountain. The black and the blue color. There. Just paint here. Just selecting the area here for this mountain to create a very nice effects color effects color to the mountain there you go then after that I'm going to paint all or just mix this color the blue and the white color I'm going to paint here this paint sky blue color at the very very lower portion of this mountain. There you go.
this one also there you are and it's time to paint also the white color and just blend this white color just blend this white color here Then I'm going to mix the color of this white and blue color. I'm going to paint here, very lower portion, and just blend this color here. Then the white color, I'm going to blend this white color here. This is my fog effect to this, to this lower portion of this mountain. going to blend this white color also to the sky blue that I paint earlier there there you go there you are there you are very nice Very nice color. I'm going to add here the uh, the trees here. So maybe I'm going to darken this a little bit at the very lower portion. I'm going to darken this here. So I'm going to mix this this blue and the black color. The blue and the black color. There, the blue and black color. I will mix these two colors. Then I'm going to paint here. I'm going to paint here directly at the very lower portion. I'm going to darken this part here. Because later, this is my base color here at the very lower portion. Later we're going to uh, add more detail for this uh, color here. For this base color at the very lower portion. Mix, mix again. The black black and blue color there you are just paint here at the very lower portion there you are there you go I'm going to paint here the very lower portion black again and the blue color I'm going to paint here. This is my base color, or the uh, base color of this part for my subject here. There you are. And just blend this color to the uh, light color at the very, a uh, little bit here that I painted earlier. There you go. That one. Just blend. Just blend this color here. There you go. I'm going to add also here the uh, the trees. I'm going to select some. I'm going to add some dark color here. For some trees to this area. There you go. Black color and the blue. There you go. Just paint here directly here for my trees. There you go. There you are there. Very nice. The blue and black color. There you go. 
We're later we're going to detail this area here. This is my trees here, this part. There you go, there. Then this one here, I'm going to add here a uh, tree. I'm going to add here the tree, so this one, maybe this one. I'm going to darken this part here first. Black and blue. Black and blue there. I'm going to darken this part. There you go. There you go there. I'm going to darken this area here. Then after that I'm going to add also the tree here. Maybe this one. black and a blue color going to add here a tree later we're going to detail this tree here there there you go there this one is not yet final this is only the uh, the uh, skits here or the outline for my tree There you are, that one. A little bit bigger, bigger trunk here. There you go, in that one there, and also just mix again the black and blue color. And just paint here. I'm going to add here the bronzes later. There's only the yes, kids there, or the uh, outline for my tree. Trees there. Then after that, this one here, I'm going to... Maybe I'm going to darken this part here. Because I'm going to add here a subject. So I'm going to use this black color here. I'm going to darken this area a little bit here. That one there. There you go, dark color. I blend this dark color to the uh, color that I painted earlier, the, uh, the darker blue, so that it will create a very uh, soft color. There you go, that one. I mix the color of this yellow, the yellow and the green color to create the lighter green. yellow and the viridian green I will mix these two color there I'm going to paint here directly here just observe my brush strokes there very nice There you go. That one, very nice color there. That one there. Then the Viridian Green. I'm going to paint directly the Viridian Green here. For the darker leaves here to this tree. There you are. Viridian Green there that one then the lighter green also I add a yellow color to the viridian green to create the lighter yellow yeah, lighter green just paint here just 
Let's observe my bra strokes. There you are. I'm going to add also the white color to this lighter green. Just paint also here for, s for the highlight of the leaves. There. That one. Very good looking trees. There you go. And this one also here. Just selecting the area there. And I'm going to paint the lighter here. the lighter green to this part here there you are for the very far color the uh, trees there there you go very nice I'm going to paint also the yellow color here at the very lower portion Or the, uh, I'm going to add more viridian green to this color that I mixed earlier, the yellow, the yellow, I'm going to add more viridian green there, Just paint also here, just selecting the area here. I will not uh, paint this, all of this one here, just select the area here for this color, this green color. There you go. And after that, I'm going to add more white color to this color. Then add yellow color there to create this kind of color. Lighter yellow green. Let's paint also here. There you are. Very nice color. There you go. Then I'm going to add more light color or the white color to this color to create more lighter uh, green just paint here for some highlight effect to this grasses here there you go and some yellow color going to add some yellow color here And this one also for some color of the grasses here. There you go. Then the uh, Rushina color. I'm going to add some Rushina color here. I'll paint the Rushina color here. There you are. I'll blend the Rushina color to the, uh, to the grasses. Rushina color. Just selecting the area there. Rushina color 
or I'm going to mix this blue the blue and the Rosina color there I'm going to add also the white color to create this kind of color I'll paint here for some color of my soil here there you are very nice I'm going to darken this a little bit here this part, this area here I'm going to darken this part using the uh, Viridian Green there you are very nice very nice color there and just continue here there you go by the way I'm using my number 12 flat brush there you go very nice now I know guys let's continue here my uh paint here is already all colors here is dry just mix the color of this white and the yellow color just a very small amount of yellow there a very small amount of yellow to the white color I'm going to paint this one here there you go I'm going to lighten this part then the white color there you are the white color then this one there and there it's very good looking sky now I'm going to uh, paint the this one the yellow color or just mix this yellow and small amount of orange color the yellow and the orange I'm going to mix these two colors and add a very small amount of white to lighten this color to lighten this a little bit Let's add more a little bit of white this color I like this color just paint this one here or some highlights these uh, trees here there you go and this one also here just selecting the area there and the blue color there you go the green and the blue color I'm going to mix these two color I'm going to paint this one here at the back portion this this one the uh, the leaves that are not affected by lights that's why it's a little bit darker green or the blue green here there good looking tree to this part and also this one here some areas that are not affected by the lights coming from the sun that's why I'm going to color this one a little bit uh, blue green color there you go and there very nice very very nice there that one then after that I'm going to get my pointed brush this this pointed brush number zero brush I'm going to 
paint this one the black color directly paint the black color for the uh, the bronzes and the uh, trunk of these trees there you go good looking now good looking tree there you are I'm going to create here more trees to this part using this black color there and this one here there you go very nice and this one also here there you are bronzes the twigs of these trees here this area and also the trunk going to create more trunk so that it will uh, uh, make this forest there you go very nice that one there and this one also there you are I'm going to mix the color of this blue and a very small amount of black color there you go and add a very small amount of white there you are I'm going to add here the windmill the old windmill to this part there you are I'm going to add one more So one I'm going to mix this color the blue and the black color for the base color this windmill there you go this is only the base color of this windmill this area there you are then more dark color the blue and the uh, black I'm going to mix these two color and I'm going to create here the uh, roof of this windmill this is only the uh, layout I make first the layout of this windmill here there you are there you go oops oopsie there there you go Whoop. a little bit curve here there you go I'm going to darken that the lower portion the blue and the the black color I'm going to mix this again it should be more black color I'm going to darken this part here for the shading there there you go just blend also this color there you are mix the color of this the blue and the black again I'm going to add more blue to this color and I'm going to add the uh, Rushina color there I'm going to mix the Rushina and just paint here for the for the soil to this part or the base color of my soil here there you are Rushina I'm going to blend this Rushina here I'm still using my number 8 flat brush this part 
There you are. The Rishina color just mix this one here. Uh, I'm going to paint first the blue and black. I mix the color with the earlier the blue and black and add the Rushina color. And I'm going to paint this one here for the base color of the soil here. There you go. And this one here. There you are. Very nice. Then I'm going to lighten this more here using this white color or the for this part. This is my sun area here so I'm going to lighten this more to this area there you go very nice there don't worry about the uh, trunk of this tree I will, uh, we will fix that later so that you can there number two flat brush this one number two then I'm going to paint that uh, I'm going to mix this orange uh, the Rushina and the orange color or the cadmium orange there Rushina and the cadmium orange I'm going to mix these two color I'm going to paint this one here using this number two flat brush there you go very nice color I like the color here this are the uh, highlight of the uh, soil here this part Very, very nice. There you go. Very good looking. Later, we're going to add this detail for that that one the uh, windmill then after that I'm going to mix this color the white and the yellow color this one here at the upper portion I'm going to add this one here a lighter lighter color here for my grasses to this part I'm going to lighten this part here. There you go. Very nice. Just lighten more here. To create here very light color for the more highlight effect of this part. Because this area, I'm going to make this area uh, affected by the lights coming from the uh, the, the sun or the sky here. There you are. Very very nice now. There you go. Then the next thing to do is we're going to create here the uh, the grasses to this area here. So I'm going to mix this color, the Viridian Green, the Viridian Green and the white color. It should be a small amount of white there. There you go. 
and just paint this part there you are just selecting the area here for this color there you go very nice selecting some part here for this nice color there you go I'm going to add also the some orange color here just a small amount of orange there just selecting some areas to this orange color and this one there you go then a little bit light there so I'm going to add this white color to the color that I mixed earlier the Rushina and the orange going to add a light color there just add here some highlight effect to the soil here there you go very nice there you are there also this one here there the uh, number of flat brush I'm going to uh, mix the color of this the yellow and the uh, green color I'm going to mix these two color I'm going to create some grasses here just observe my brush strokes here there the yellow and the green color to create this uh, yellow green color yeah just like that just paint this one here for some grasses there very nice good looking this area add more yellow there you are and this one I'm going to lighten the add more yellow to the green color just paint here for some grasses to this part there there you go then the blue I'm going to mix the color of this I'm going to mix the color of this blue and the yellow color there the blue and the yellow color I'm going to mix these two color to create another color of the uh, green color just paint here also there very nice color The yellow color, I'm going to paint the yellow color here. Just selecting the area there. For some highlight color, the yeah, grass is to this part. 
There you go. Very nice. Just a little here. And this one also here. There you are. That one. I'm going to mix this uh, yellow green. I mixed earlier the green and the yellow. I'm going to mix that one, the white. A little bit lighter. <clears throat> I'm going to create a lighter yellow green. I'm going to create here the grasses. I think it's too much light, so I'm going to add the Rushina color with that. It's more light, so I'm going to mix a small amount of Rushina there. For some grasses here. I'm going to add water to my brass hair. So that it will make a very smooth, you can create a very smooth uh, grasses here. There you go. I'm going to select some areas here so that I can add more grasses. Then the yellow color, I'm going to add also the yellow color here. There, very nice. There you are. And just continue here at this area. There you go. That one. This one, this kind of color, the green. I mix earlier the yellow and blue. And add a white color. I'm going to add white color to create a lighter color here. There you are. I'm going to add some color of the leaves here, or the grasses. A little bit nearer here, this part. Very nice grasses here. This part. I'm going to paint some of my color here. Some grasses here to this area. There you are. Very nice. Very, very nice here. Then the sky blue color, the blue and white, should be more blue color to create a little bit darker sky blue. I'm going to paint this one also here for some leaves here that are not affected by too much light. There you go. Maybe I'm going to lighten this a little bit here. Using this yellow color, I'm going to create the lighter, the lighter uh, color here for the grasses. For the leaves of these grasses here, to this part. There, very nice. Very, very nice there. Then after that, I'm going to lighten this a little bit here because I think it's very dark with this soil here to this area. So I'm going to dark to lighten that one. 
I'm going to uh, light mix again this orange and the Roshina. I'm going to add the white color there. I'm going to paint here to lighten some area of this this one here. There. That one. I like this. Very nice. Then this one also, I'm going to paint this one again. The soil here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this Rushina, the Rushina and the blue color. I'm going to mix these two color here, the Rushina and the blue color there. I'm going to paint this one here directly for the base color of the soil here. Later we're going to add more detail of the tree. And we're going to finish this here first. There. The Rushina and the orange. I'm going to mix these two colors, the Rushina and the orange. I'm going to paint this one here. Just selecting the area there. For the uh, soil here, to this area, there you go. And there. Then after that, the uh, I'm going to add also the the white to this two color, the uh, that I mixed earlier, the roshina and the uh, orange. And just add orange color. There, I think this color. There. And there. There you go. Very nice color. Then, this one. I think it's time to add here the detail of this, uh, this windmill so we're going to uh, mix that one the I'm going to paint directly the Rushina color here just selecting the area here some Rushina color this is this is the old windmill made of concrete there then after that the the orange, just blend this orange here, just selecting the area here for this orange color. There you go. Then the lighter sky blue. I'm going to paint this one here, the lighter sky blue. And just blend this lighter sky blue the co to the uh, color that I painted earlier, the Rushina and the orange. Just a small amount there. That one. Using the white color, I'm going to detail this part here. This area is affected by uh, more light, so I'm going to lighten this much. there there you go I'm going to blend this white color there you go then the sky blue color I'm going to mix the white and the blue it should be more blue color so that I can create a little bit darker sky blue. Just paint this part here. This area is not affected by a light, so we're going to paint this one here. 
that one. I'm going to paint a very uh, thin line here, white. This part. Very thin line here. For the highlight. It's good looking now. We're going to paint also the Rushina color or just mix the Rushina and the black color. The Rushina and the black. It should be a small amount of black only. There, and I'm going to add also the orange color. There you go. I'm going to paint this one at the very bottom. This this windmill. There. There we go. Then I'm going to add more black color. It should be to create a darker color here on the orange. At the very bottom, this windmill. There for the shading effects. Dark color here. There you go. Very nice. Very nice there. The black and the blue. I'm going to mix these two color, the blue and the black. I'm going to create here the, uh, the door. Just there. A rectangular sh shape to this part. Going down there. Make a corner here and there. Now it's now after that I'm going to create also the window. The window of this windmill. Small part of the window here. And this one here. And this one here. And maybe this one. I'm going to cut here. Small window here. There you go. That's it. Black and the sky blue color. I'm going to mix these two color. Sky blue. That I mixed earlier. The white and the blue. Then I add black color. A small amount of black. To create this kind of color. I'm going to paint this one here. There. There you go. And there. This one also a small amount there. There you are. Very nice. Using this black color, I'm going to paint directly the black color here. I'm going to make the detail here for this roof. There you go. There you are. Black color. It's triangular uh, shape here. There you go. Triangular shape with this roof, this windmill. There you are. Very nice. A little bit here, there. The sky blue color, the sky blue, the white, and the blue color. There, I'm at the very top of this, this one, this windmill. There, for the highlights. The blue and the white color to create the sky blue color here. There. I'm going to paint this one here. 
the highlight there and that one I'm going to lighten this sky blue color I'm going to lighten this one using the I'm going to add white color to the sky blue color and just paint here for the uh, highlight here the outline there using this pointed brass there and also this one here and there just make some uh, texture for this roof here there good looking and some here and there I'm going to add water to my brush here and just here I'm going to create here the that one there maybe this one here screws like There you are. Make this line a little bit thicker. There. And this one here. There. This one also here. There. I'm going to create here the outline. A very thin outline here. Just a very thin there. And there. This one also here. And also very thin line. Just there. And this one. There you go. And there. And also this one here. Very thin line there. It should be more thin line. Just here, there, and this one, and there. Very, 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 very thin line. It should be thin line. And there. Then I'm going to make this one a little bit square. There. And there. We're going to continue here a little bit here. At the lower portion, very small. There you go. So I'm going to use this one, the blue color. I'm going to add here a small 
为。Going down there using this rouge in a color, and there. In the dark color, the black and the rouge, I'm going to mix these two color. I'm going to create here the uh, shading effect for this this part. Small uh, way or the uh, I don't know. Can I call this one? There you go. That one. Then the lighter. I'm going to add white to this color. The rushina and the white color I'm going to mix these two color Rushing and the white color and add a very small amount of black color there just paint here oh, I think it should be more white and just paint here Selecting the area there. And there. The black color here. And there. I'm going to mix the scarlet red. Scarlet red and Rushina. I'm going to mix these two color. Scarlet red and Rushina, I'm going to mix this one and the white color there. Add scarlet red and Rushina, add the white color. There you are. I'm going to paint this one here to create more uh, color of the soil here. There. And there. Then the white color to create a lighter, the lighter soil. There you go. This one also here. And there. Very good looking now. The Viridian Green. I'm going to mix the Viridian Green and the black color. The viridian or the green color and the black I'm going to mix this one to create the dark green color and I'm going to paint this one here for some uh, dark color of the leaves here or the shading because I think it's not uh, this area is not affected by too much uh, light here so I'm going to darken this part. There you go. And there. There you are. And this one also. Just selecting the area here. There are some shading of these uh, leaves here. There. 
very nice now very very nice to this area and there Viridian green there there you go I'm going to mix the color of this yellow and the uh, black color small amount of black color and the yellow just small amount of black and the yellow color there you are I'm going to add also the white color to this color that I mix the yellow and the black I'm going to add white color there to create this kind of color very nice there very nice color here this one and there I'm going to mix the color this this one the viridian green and the white color to create the lighter color of the green there you go I'm going to paint also here Just selecting some area. There. And very nice. Oops, a lighter green color. There you go, very nice color here. And there. That one, very good looking now. I'm going to mix this again, the green color and the uh, viridian green and the white. There. I'm going to create here the grasses here also. Some grasses to this part. There. Very good looking area here. And there. This one also. A little bit nearer. Nearer to the eyesight, so a little bit bigger or a longer. longer grasses the leaves of the grasses should be a little bit longer because this part is the, uh, nearer to the eyesight so we're going to make this a little bit bigger grasses here there you go and there then then I'm going to mix the white and the rushina. The white and rushina color. There. To create this kind of color. And just paint here for more highlight effects. I'm using my painted brush to this part. there and this one also here there you go very nice now so let's continue here Rushina and the black color 
the Rushina and the black color there I'm going to paint this one here there you go this is my base color here then there are some Rushina here just selecting the area here Rushina color then I'm going to make some color here oops I think it's too much that color so we're going to reduce this one the color the black just blend this color later we're going to make that one or make or add some detail with the tree there you go I'm going to detail this part now it's time to detail here this is my base color there you go then the Rushina color I'm going to add some Rushina color here just observe my brush strokes there you go just observe my brush strokes there there is in a color here and there you go some orange color also I'm going to add some orange color here there you are and also this one here and there very nice the base color here a little bit uh, lighter Rushina I'm going to add some or just mix this Rushina and the the orange color and add yellow color there I'm going to add some yellow color to create this kind of color I'm going to add more yellow color to Rushina and the orange there just mix this three color I'm going to paint this one also here part I'm going to lighten this area here and there don't worry about this trunk we're going to detail it this later I'm going to do this first here and there that one very nice base color here this part I'm going to lighten this area here maybe we're going to create that one or just mix the color of the small amount of green to the a uh, small amount of white to the green color just paint also here oops I think it's some select I will select some area here I will not color here everything with the green this is only the base color here there very nice add the or mix the white and the Rushina color there you go I think it's very a long process this one but I will show you how I think it's very 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 uh, dull color so we're going to add more white color here there you go I'm just continue painting with this here with this color I'm going to create here the grasses to this area using this pointed brush just observe my brush strokes and how I add the grasses the leaves of the grasses there I'm going to lighten this part because this area is affected by the, uh, the lights there you go it's 
should be more thin line here the grasses there you go and I'm going to lighten more here using this white this white color here at the very uh, there there you go I'm going to use my white color to create more gr color of the grasses here because this area is affected by too much light so we're going to light in this area there you go that one there the yellow color I'm going to mix the yellow and the white to create this kind of color there I'm going to paint also here I'll create here some lighter color the black color I'm going to create here some shading effects to the ground like uh, stones here because not good to see this kind of base color without uh, yeah, some spot here or the dark color for the shading now it's I think it's nice now to create some shading effects using the black color but it should be you should be blend this color to the uh, background color or the base color so that it will create very smooth color effects here and there now I think it's time to add more effects color here I have my fun brush so it's time to play the color here for some grasses And there I will play some color effects here there and there more color effects like yellow there you go the yellow color and there not bad for this color here very good I like the, the effects and this one also here and there
That's one. Very good looking now. Then some yellow green color. I'm going to mix the yellow and the green. Or the viridian green. There. I'm going to mix these two color. I'm going to add also here. I think I'm going to add more water to my brass hair. So that I, when I add this color, it should be directly smooth color. There you go. Very nice color here. And there. Just add here a little bit here. There. Very nice. And there. I'm going to use this fun brush for the uh, dried leaves here for the fallen dried leaves here. There. Using this orange and the uh, rushina. I will not. There. And there. These are the dried leaves that fall to the ground. The orange color there. And there. I think that's the one. Very nice. We're going to add detail for this tree here. So I'm going to mix the color of this black and blue color. The black and blue. There. I'm going to mix this two color. I'm going to paint here directly. I'm using my number uh, number eight flat brush. This painting we're we're going to, I think it's going too long, because this is only the part one, the landscape, and the part of this painting I will uh, add here the uh, another subject. Which is the uh, farmer, the sleeping farmer. So, what's out with that, guys? I'm going to put a description below this video for my part of this painting. There, we're going to detail these trees here. This is a very basic here. You can easily uh, detail with this. And also this one. We're going to create here the the shading or the shadow of these trees here. There. Going down. And there. shadow of this tree and this one also here the shadow there I'm going to mix the color of this black and the the, the rushina and the black color I'm going to mix these two colors just add here just select some area here there you go for the color of these trees, the color of the trunk of these trees here. There you go. A little bit. Uh, I'm going to add this color at the uh, center of this trunk. A uh, little bit here, the center. There you go. Just I'm using my pointed brush. This is the number number one flat round brush. This one also a little bit center here. I'm going to add this color, the darker rushina. Just mix this black and the rushina color. 
there we're almost done with this painting so and there there the blue and the white I'm going to mix these two color the blue and the white color the blue and the white color to create the sky blue color there and there and I'm going to paint here at the little bit at the dark the back portion here for the uh, some color or the highlight of this back portion this tree this area is not affected by the lights coming from the uh, sun so we're going to use the sky blue color here they are very nice now very nice trunk here and there that one uh, yeah, I'm going to add also the orange color some of this here just selecting the area with this orange color I'm going to select some area here for some uh, color of the uh, uh, this part the texture texture color the texture of this trunk here there you go this one also very nice tree now and there I'm going to mix the color the yellow and the uh, rushina color yellow and rushina just mix these two color there and add orange color small amount of orange there just small amount of orange there and add white color there just add a white color to this color then just paint here at this area this color is the uh, highlight color of this trunk here and there very good looking tree now very nice and also this one here there and there white color issue I'm going to add more white color to this color here to create this a uh, little bit uh, of white then just paint here this side here for the more highlight effect to this part there you go very nice trunk now we have very nice trunk here this area and there that one and also this one here there you go very nice trunk color this trunk here lighter color there I'm going to use this white color here I'm going to add more highlight effect using this white color here there very nice tree there you go and this one here the white color there you go 
at the back portion I'm going to add more white color to this sky blue color here it should be more lighter sky blue now there you go I'm going to add the back portion of this trunk here for the highlight or the outline of the highlight here the back portion of this tree or this trunk here there very good looking very nice there also and there that one very good looking very very nice now there you go I'm going to mix this color the black and the Roshina color I'm going to mix these two color here there should be more black color and there now it's time to add the branches here I need to add more water to my brush hair and then there there you go small twigs there I'm going to create la there you go and there this one also here I'm going to create here bigger branches the black and the Roshina color there you go very good looking now there there you are there and this one also here there you go and the twigs here nice tree now it's a very nice tree there There you go. And also this one. Rushina and the black color. I'm going to add here. There you go. And more tweaks there.
going to add more twigs here. The thinner the bait, the bait, the beater. There. Also this. Very nice. We're going to add also the uh, the darker color here. Darker color of the grasses to this part. Because this area is not affected by the light, so we're going to uh, have some grasses here. The color of the grasses here is like a uh, dark color, or not affected. The leaves that are not affected the, by the lights coming from the sun. There you go. And also this one here. That one, very good looking. I think I'm going to add also the leaves with that. I'm using this fan brush. Using the, I'm going to paint also there the uh, viridian green. Just paint like that here for the leaves, this tree. There, just small. It's for the leaves of this tree here. I'm using my fan brush here. There you go. I'm going to add the leaves here. Viridian green and that one. There. Then the Viridian green just continue adding with the Viridian green here using this. Winted brass. I uh, know this the round brass for the some detail of the leaves here. This tree. There you go. Very good looking now. There you are. The leaves of this tree here. Very nice. Very nice there. Using this viridian green. There you go. And also this one here. That one. And this one also. There you are. Very nice tree now. I think I have a very nice tree right now. There you go. I'm going to add also the yellow color here. For the highlight of the sound leaves of this tree here. I'm using my printed br uh, number one round brush. There you are. There. 
So this is my part one of my painting. Uh, I'm going to make here the part. Uh, that's I'm going to add here another subject here for this for this area here. There's only the landscape. So uh, for the part two, I'm going to add here a yeah, farmer. Maybe I'm going to add also here the animal. Uh, I'm going to uh, select. Uh, what kind of animal I add to this painting okay guys we're done with this painting tutorial I wanna say thank you so much for watching this uh, video tutorial I hope you learn and get something from this tutorial guys guys don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel and hit the bell symbol to turn on your notification and get notified for my upcoming new painting tutorial in the near future and see you guys for my next painting tutorial which is Part 2 of this painting tutorial, I'm going to add a, uh, more subject to this painting, so see ya guys, peace!